Here's how I made this sandstorm effect using Adobe After Effects. Because the sandstorm is so far in the background, I just did a classic two-point track. I then went ahead and applied that tracking data to this null object. ProductionCrate.com has all these awesome sandstorm VFX, so I just went ahead and picked one for my shot. Then I went ahead and imported the sandstorm effect into my scene, and then parented it to my null object. I did a little color correction to match better into the shot. I wanted to fill the sky portion up with more sandstorm effect, so I just duplicated my original sandstorm effect, scaled it up, slowed it down, and did that one more time. Since these scaled duplicates are slowed down, I need to toggle on my frame interpolation, and I'm going to do this twice for that optical flow interpolation, which is perfect for these smoky assets. Now that I got my sandstorm assets all set up in my composition, I actually want them sitting behind this mountain ridge here. You can see that the ground is a lot darker than the sky, so I can actually just use a luma mat. I'll do this first by applying a curves and crunching it down, and then applying a tritone where the midtones are black. I can then take the original footage and use that high contrast footage as a track mat, and then just make sure to invert it. And now I have a layer of my ground over the top of my sandstorm effects. If I zoom in here, we can see that the edge is a little crunchy. So I use the Crates Edge Blur. It is a free plugin available in the LaForge suite. And that just softens it up and makes it look super nice. To add more motion to my scene, I made a really quick effect of sand blasting by the camera. I did this by first creating a new solid and then applying a fractal noise effect. I then scaled it way up and set the complexity to zero. I then hit the stopwatch to create a keyframe for the offset turbulence on my first frame. And then at the end of my comp, I just moved this way over. Then I adjusted the brightness and the contrast. I keyframed the evolution. And then I added a fill effect with the color set to brown applied before the fractal noise. Then in my fractal noise blending mode, I just set it to multiply. Then I started building out the final look. I wanted to emphasize the contrast and make it look like the sun was a little closer to the horizon over to the right side of frame. So I used Crate's Easy Glow, a plugin in the LaForge suite, to add a nice atmospheric hazy looking glow. Then I added this very subtle lens dirt effect from footagecrate.com. And with a couple other color adjustments, I add my final shot. 